And when that happened, the Yakuza are like, if you beat up my little brother, I'm coming out. Hey, what the fuck's going on? You know? I'm going to get sworn on this. It's okay to swear. Cool. Okay, okay. <laughs> we encourage it. So. Yeah. <laughs> so, you Some know, more. that's what, that's what you, I would come out and say, hey, you beat up my brother. What, what's going on here? You know? Yeah. So that's what happened. They came out. And because I didn't do it because I was just being a punk or because I was angry, I was doing it because I was dishonored. They understood that. They understood that. Yeah, so the higher-ups came right. out, and when yeah. I told them what happened, what I said, happened? hey, wait a minute, stop. They came out, like, real aggressive at first. Sure. And some of my guys held them back. I said, no, don't hold them back. Let them come. And I said, you know what? Let me say something. And if you guys don't agree with me, whatever. Yeah. And they came, and I said, you know, hey, he dishonored me. This is what he did. So he did. He said, okay, but... You can't lay hands on our guys. That's our guys. And I said, hey, if you someone screws you up, screwed over you over, and you did 30% of what you really wanted to do, which thing is being nice? And she said, yeah, but look at him. And he was bleeding. Him. But he was still standing. He was still alive. I must have been beating up for like 20 minutes, mm-hmm. like punching him, letting him drop him, bringing him back up, you know. And he looked over, and I said, I said, 20 minutes. I said, he's still standing. He still can talk. And he looked at me, and the guy just was like, Phew, you're right, and changed his mold and started talking to me. Yeah. Yeah. And he asked me to not do anything more, and I said, I'm cool, man. I did my thing. Man. I want him out of my life. He said, please, then leave it at that. And if he ever screws you over again, I'll kill him myself. So I was like, shoot. 